Hello and welcome to 7 Day This week, new research has shown that bombs dropped by the Allied forces during World War II were so large that they could have been detected up to a thousand kilometers above ground. Considering space officially starts at a hundred kilometers, that is high indeed. Chris Scott from the University of Reading said that each raid released the energy of at least 300 lightning strikes. This was so strong that the bombs actually weakened the upper atmosphere. In other news, ecologist and ornithologist Dave Andrews was the first to spot a lone beluga whale swimming around in the River Thames. For those of you who don't know, the Thames is the main river that runs through London. It has been suggested that the whale came to the Thames in search of food, but the Whale and Dolphin Conservation said it was obviously very lost and quite possibly in trouble. Well, ladies and gentlemen, science has finally gone too far. Scientists are now using it as an excuse to give octopuses drugs just to see what happens. Nah, I'm only joking. But octopuses have been given a drug, MDMA, or ecstasy, the point of which is to try and determine its social behaviours, and they have found links between them and us, one of which being an episodic memory. This has all come about because of the very interesting way that octopuses react around other octopuses, and it seems that there's some kind of social structure that may be involved in the octopus world. Some very significant paleontology news this week, as the oldest known animal has been confirmed to be a member of the Ediacaran biota known as Dickinsonia. New fossils of this organism were discovered in Russia that were so exceptionally preserved they contained traces of cholesterol, a kind of fat molecule that is an indicator for animal life. This means that the animals were getting large and were fairly common, more than 550 million years ago, a lot sooner than previously thought, and it confirms that Dickinsonia was indeed an animal, and not any of the other kinds of organisms that it has been suggested to be. Thanks to Max on Discord for flagging this one up for us. The legendary elephant birds, the giant flightless avians that once ruled Madagascar, have undergone a taxonomic revision this week, clarifying some things about which animal is actually the biggest bird of all time. An analysis has found a particularly large specimen to be distinct enough from others to be placed in a new genus, and they've named it Vorombi Titan. So instead of only two genera, there are now three, and it seems Vorombi Titan was the largest of them. In other ancient bird news, a beautiful specimen of an early Cretaceous bird from China has been described and named the new species Gingiofortis perplexus, I, th I think. I don't know. This animal has also caused the establishment of a new family of basal short tailed birds, Gingiofortis day? Uh, again, not a clue, and shows us that the evolution of flight in birds was a bit more complicated than previously considered. Also, the tiger population of Nepal has doubled. So that's great. Thank you very much for listening to this week's 7 Days of Science. I do hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you on Sunday.